You may have heard of qualies or quality adjusted life years, but did you know that there's another way to measure the impact of disease that focuses on what we lose rather than what we gain? Enter DALIs or disability adjusted life years, which is a powerful metric for understanding the burden of illness and disability. A great way to understand how DALIs work is to imagine the life of an individual visualized on a timeline, starting at their birth and following them until they die. Let's assume they're healthy for some time after they're born. At some point, they get sick, which means they're no longer in perfect health. So we need to assign a disability weight to that time. For example, 0.4. We can plot this out over the course of a lifetime by tracking the time when our individual is healthy and when they are sick. At some point, they die, maybe as the consequence of a severe disease. In our example, this disease has caused them to die prematurely. If we assume a life expectancy of 80 years and we know that they've died prematurely at 60, we can calculate the years of life lost, which in our case would be 20 years. To be able to calculate the total DALIs lost, we need to factor in the years of healthy life lost due to disability as well. So we need to look back at the periods of sickness highlighted in red. For each period, we measured the disability weight. In other words, how severe the disease was and for how long our individual was affected by that disease. These disability weights can be anything between zero and one, whereby one is death. You can see how the DALI is the exact opposite of the QUALI, where a utility value of one represents perfect health. To make things simple, let's say all periods of disability affected our individual for two years, which lets us calculate the years of healthy life lost due to disability by multiplying the time spent with disability with the disability weight and adding them all up at the end. This would give us four DALIs lost, which we can combine with the years of life lost due to premature death. So we end up with a total of 24 DALIs lost. This is usually compared to a theoretical maximum, which is equal to the life expectancy. So in our case, a life lived for 80 years in perfect health. This puts things into perspective as it tells us that the individual in our example loses 24 years of the 80 years that they could expect. DALIs are great for assessing the burden of disease and they help us quantify the total impact of a disease on a population, which is why they're so useful for global health institutions and policymakers who must prioritize where public health interventions are most needed so that limited resources can be allocated effectively.